Welcome to Final Cut Pro 10 in under five minutes. I'm Steve from RippleTraining.com. One of the best ways to achieve great looking slow motion is to shoot your footage at a higher frame rate than your project's frame rate. Using Final Cut Pro's automatic retiming option in combination with optical flow analysis, I'm gonna show you my killer recipe for achieving Hollywood class slow motion effects. Here's a clip of a Caribbean sea turtle I shot at 60 frames per second using my Canon 5D Mark III. I'm playing this clip back from a 24 frames per second timeline. Whenever you play back a clip whose native frame rate is higher or lower than the project frame rate, Final Cut Pro will perform frame sampling in order to accurately match the frame rate of the project. In order for this 60 frames per second clip to play back at 24 frames per second, Final Cut Pro must intelligently ignore certain frames during playback. Because not every frame is being accounted for during playback, you can use this knowledge to create some outstanding slow motion effects. With the 60 frames per second clip selected, I'll press Control Option R to bring up the custom speed window. Then select the automatic option. Instantly, the clip speed has been altered to play back at 40% of its native speed, as indicated by the orange timing bar above the clip. This way, all 60 frames will be played back in this 24 frames per second project. As I mentioned in my intro, because the clip was shot at a higher frame rate than the project I'm editing, the resulting slow motion will be much smoother and less susceptible to visual artifacts than retiming clips with frame rates that match the project frame rate. For you iPhone 6 shooters, having the option to shoot at 240 frames per second opens up a whole new world of slow motion possibilities. Here's something even cooler. You can apply the automatic speed setting to selected portions of your clip. I'll undo that last step, then move the playhead to where I want the speed change to occur. I'll press Shift B to create a speed segment, then move the playhead where I want the speed change to end, then press Shift B again. Now I'll select the middle segment by clicking on the timing bar, then choose Automatic Speed from the Retime menu. Instantly, the selected speed segment has the 40% slowdown applied, and the portions of the clip outside the selection remain at 100% speed. Playing back, I get a nice speed change from 100% to 40%, then back to 100%. Using the speed transition bars at either end of the segment, I can control how smooth or abrupt I want the entrances and exits of the speed segments to play back. Dragging away from the segment produces smoother speed transitions, and dragging toward the segment produces more abrupt transitions. Finally, if you want to give your clip an extra bit of slow-mo mojo, select the clip, then from the retime menu choose Video Quality Optical Flow. Optical Flow is an algorithm that analyzes the clip to determine the directional movement of pixels on the frame, then invents new frames based on the analysis. Once a clip has been analyzed and rendered, you'll be amazed how buttery smooth your slow motion clips play back on the timeline. Click the subscribe button below. If you have an idea, comment, or suggestions, leave those below as well. Go to RippleTraining.com for fast professional training on Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, DaVinci Resolve from industry professionals.